Shalom, shalom, my brother and my sister. Today I'll be sharing on God's everlasting name. Names are very important, as you may know. They help us to identify other people. I have twin grandchildren. Whenever they visit, I can only distinguish them by their names. I call out and wait to see who will answer. People need to be specific when calling on their God, because there are many gods. Confusion can be experienced in ecumenical conferences where religious leaders from various faiths congregate to chart out common agenda. When they start praying, sometimes you cannot tell which Lord is being addressed. Some are calling the Lord Jesus Christ, others are calling the Hindu Lord Krishna and other lords. You have to know enough about someone's religion to guess which Lord they are praying to. The true living God also has a proper name that he answers to. This distinguishes him from other gods. The name God is like the name Dad. When dads come to a school on a visiting day, it is often very confusing when little children start calling out Dad. A dad has to look at the child calling out in order to determine if he is the one being called. God is always looking for people to work with in his plan for mankind. In the early days, it is recorded how he dealt with the children of Israel. He had identified Abraham as someone he'd used to bless the whole of mankind. God said he'd bless Abraham and through Abraham the rest of mankind. When the Israelites cried for deliverance from their bondage in Egypt, God chose the humble Moses to work with him. First, he had to reveal his identity to Moses. And in Exodus 3.6, he introduced himself as the Elohim of Moses' father, the Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Elohim, as we saw previously, means the creator. So Moses wasn't satisfied. So he asked for God's name. God said that Moses was to tell the Israelites that I am that I am had sent Moses. I am. That is his name that he used. In Hebrew, it's uh, something like uh, I am that I am is Eya Eshe Eya. In Exodus 3.15, God said moreover to Moses, You shall tell the children of Israel this, Yahweh, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, that is the Elohim of Isaac, and the Elohim of Jacob, has sent me to you. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial to all generations. So Yahweh means the self-existing one. Yahweh was his everlasting name. Yahweh is his everlasting name, even now. His name is I am, the self-existing one. In Exodus 6, verse 2, God speaks again to Moses. And we read, God spoke to Moses and said to him, I am Yahweh. I appear to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob as God Almighty. Here the word used is El Shaddai. But my name, Yahweh, I was not known to them. So the first time that God revealed his everlasting name, Yahweh, is to Moses. In the wilderness. In the New Testament, we see how Jesus Christ manifested Yahweh in bodily form. How do we see this? First, Jesus Christ re referred to himself as I am. When talking to the Pharisees and the Jews in general, we read in John 8, verse 58, Jesus said to them, Most certainly I tell you, before Abraham came into existence, I am. You see, the Pharisees and the Jews were asking Jesus, how can you talk, tell us this about Abraham and you are not even 50 years old yet? So this was his answer to that question. Secondly, Yahweh referred himself as the first and the last in the Old Testament. We can read this in Isaiah 44 verse 6. This is what Yahweh, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, Yahweh of armies, says. I am the first 
and I am the last. And beside me, there is no God. In the New Testament, Jesus Christ is referred to as the first and the last in several places. In one of the places we read in Revelation chapter 1, verse 7 to 8, it says, Behold, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him, including those who pierced him. All the tribes of the earth will mourn over him. Even so, amen. Verse 8, I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is, who was, and who is to come, the Almighty. So here, Jesus Christ is being manifested as Yahweh once again. Yahweh is God's everlasting name, and Yeshua, that is Jesus Christ in Hebrew, is how he has revealed himself to humankind in bodily form. That is how Yahweh has revealed himself to humankind in bodily form. Glory to his holy name forever and ever. Shalom, shalom, dear brother and dear sister. Till next time. Amen and amen. Dear friend, would you like to invite Jesus into your life? You can say with me this prayer. It's based from Romans 10, verse 9 to 10, and other verses. Say this. Let's say it together. Lord Jesus Christ, I believe that you are the Son of the true living God. I believe that you died on the cross to save me. I believe that you rose from the dead and went to be with the Father in heaven. And I welcome you into my heart to be my Lord and Savior. If you say that prayer with me, look for a Bible-believing church that is near you. And may God bless you. You can also reach us at the Facebook page, which is there at the bottom of this page. May God lead you in his paths, in his ways. May God preserve you until the return of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to take us to be with him forever and ever. Amen.